squeeze your lemons by hand. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. <laughs> Sorry, my brain went somewhere else with that. No, oh, what are you for? <laughs> Welcome to the Northernist Podcast. We are two friends in fiber who knit, spin, sew, craft, and talk nerdy stuff on the internet because neither one of us can stay in the same province. My name is Jocelyn and my co-host is Diana. Did I say what episode it was? It's episode 186, just in case I didn't say it. I'll spit it up here. <laughs> I am currently calling Saskatchewan home as I am visiting my parents in Saskatoon to the end of the month and Diana calls Waterloo, Ontario home. It's still fall here. I'm so happy here. We are at minus low, like minus fives, minus sixes to zero degrees in the day. Like our lows are like minus five, minus six, but the highs are like zero one, which is that's Jocelyn weather. Jocelyn is so happy. I can wear sweaters outside. I can wear coats outside. I can wear my boots. I'm not dying of heat. It is amazing. I love it. And Manitoba might get snow. <laughs> My mom sent me a picture. They had some snow that stuck around for a few hours in the morning. Oh, no. A few hours in the morning. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, it's tragic. Oh, my like, God. We're still getting highs of like 10 to 15 here. Most of the tree, well, like, about half the leaves are still up. And there are all these like gorgeous reds and gold or reds and oranges that I just, I, I'm pretty sure colors like that don't actually exist in Manitoba. Manitoba does a really nice like yellow and like gold and stuff. We do a really beautiful yellow gold. We don't do the deep russet reds. And no, the deep russet like, reds are really, really like Ontario, BC um, and the Atlantic provinces. If you go during their fall, oh my gosh. <laughs> that I've, sea I of feel green, because like... I have never seen green like I've seen green when I was in Nova Scotia and Halifax. Oh they do a very oh nice God. green. They I have never seen green. fall like I'm seeing fall this year. Yeah. So yeah, Ontario does an amazing fall in the in the for moment. all the other bad stuff about the year. This is the fall that I have always dreamed of, and fall is my favorite season. And I am just, I am I so mean, very happy with the weather here right now. I'm just, yeah. Yeah. it's perfect. This is my weather. I You're am happy. Happy like a pig in a blanket. In fact, I've been wearing many blankets. <laughs> all right. Should I talk about what's in our cup? Yeah. I'm drinking decaf coffee. Woo. I oh, have been craving a hot toddy all day except then I had like three cups of tea and I'm like you know what I'm done with tea I'm just gonna have the scotch <laughs> I have decaf tea well, I, have tea. I just I figured it just I had the scotch. A, <laughs> figured I'd skip the tea let's have some scotch <laughs> so this is uh Lafroig quarter cask oh jeez. okay yep I'm with you but it's not how I make decisions, but sure. I had I'm a warm and cozy. I'm happy. Freshly squeezed lemonade for dinner. Oh, I made I made simple syrup the other day, and then I squeezed one into a cup. Added simple syrup and ice. Cream. Um, you have some cool threads. I yeah, I, I, mean, I went for a boots. walk. <laughs> Sorry, I went for two walks. Oh God, I don't know. I, I know too much outside. Wild and crazy. I went for two walks. Mm-hmm. Uh. <laughs> So I have been wearing, okay, wore once my sock head slouch. I wore my glam lamb, lamb, glam, glam, yeah, lamb, glam. Giant bulky Stephen West sweater that it's gray with the black sleeves that I made last year. Last year, because my phone was quite kindly telling me about what I was knitting a year ago, and it was that. Okay. Uh, and I've been wearing my. Bloomsbury mitts, which are my super colorful fingerless mitts, and so I'm making some darker colored fingerless mitts because those gloves, beautiful as they are, really don't fit my aesthetic. <laughs> like I've got my my dark blue hat, and I had like my black leather jacket on. I've got my gray jeans, my black docks, and like I have a look. And then I have these blue and yellow mitts. <laughs> 90s teenage grunge like yeah like it's they don't match it? with anything but i wear them anyway because i love them but they do just not match stop. just stop at 97 and say that's it you found your fashion and you're not doing anything else <laughs> i was six in 97 i didn't have when, a fashion actually no my favorite did. thing around about that age was this like acid green polyester button-up shirt and it had like orange and purple polka dots on it and i thought it looked like a science experiment and that's why i liked it 
I used to wear oversized tie dyed Tweety t shirts, but I grew up in the 80s. <laughs> I did my teen years in the 90s. So I did the baggy overalls, tight tube tops. Right. And the wee, wee 90s, wee 90s. <laughs> and then I did the lace chokers, multiple chains. <laughs> Didn't do the no. chains, but the chokers, yes. Yeah, chokers, yeah. The uh, tight fitted shirt with the super over baggy men's button down. Did those. Lived through the flannel years. My sister's not left the flannel years. Flannel is <laughs> great, okay? <laughs> flannel is lovely and cozy and soft. Yeah. Started working when I was 16, moved into dress pants, left blue jeans behind. Because a well-fitted, good quality pair of dress pants are the most comfortable thing on the face of the planet. Sure. Blue jeans are not comfortable. Sure. (laughs) Cheap blue jeans are not comfortable. I used to date a man who only wears khakis. So. (laughs) Yes, so did I. (laughs) Not the same not the same man. No, not the same man. <laughs> yeah. Yours bought blue jeans, freaked the family out. <laughs> bought blue jeans and wore a black band t-shirt that I didn't know he owned, and I almost walked right past him on the sidewalk one day because I didn't recognize it. Oops. And then drank it. It went, oh, lemon, because I make a strong one. And I will never change because I like it puckery powered. That sounds really good. Now I want lemonade. You need three fresh lemons, a glass, some ice cubes, and some simple syrup, which is a cup of water and a cup of sugar melted on the stovetop to combine and then brought down to room temperature. I have none of these things. Well, I have the water and I have the sugar. <laughs> I might have the ice. You can make definitely have syrup. the cup, but I lack the lemons. Yeah, okay, so I actually have most of these things. I just really lack the lemons. You just really lack the lemons, yeah. Yeah, I know mom wanted more because she brought home a bag of lemons. I'm like, oh, so I'm making more. Okay. <laughs> so that decision was made for me. She probably saw them and was like, hey, lemonade. <laughs> Squeezing them is a bit of a pain in the butt, but. Yeah, well. Uh, shall we talk about what we're working on? Yeah, you have many, many more things. You know what I'm doing all month this month? Vlog. You should just be lucky that some of the projects this week weren't knitting. Some of them were outside projects. Some of them are inside projects that involved a hot glue gun. Hot glue gun. You have two, you said? Yep. Cool. So I'm doing two, then you do one, then I do two, and then I do one, right? I have five. How many projects do I have? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Gosh, and I'll just be over here uh, subtly not cry Ow. you gotta learn to knit while you watch critical role that's all there is to it oh i do usually all right four or five while we record i like to work on my grandpa socks they're the only time i pick up the grandpa socks i'm never gonna put a, a marker in to show my progress because it is that sad so <laughs> it's not, not happening guys so i am as we talk i'm knitting on my grandpa socks this is some yarn I had never tried from Michaels before, but I've lost the ball band, so I don't I don't know anymore, guys. I'm doing them two at a time, toe up on my circulars from Chow Gu. They are the Chow Gu red lace circulars in the 2.25 millimeter because I knit really tight. Do Exceedingly I, tight. Definitely do not have the notes in this book. Oh, well, I didn't do it. I have them linked each week because I copy-pasted from that one week that I did know what yarn it was, so it'll be in the show notes. Good. The computer and the algorithm know. That's the important stuff. Uh, as always, they live in my Aaron Lane bag, which is my, my sock bag. Uh, I did the fun thing because I had to rip out the one sock, so I split the ball into two. So I have two balls going, which means I can just knit these socks till I'm getting close to being out of yarn. So how big they will end up? I don't know. They could be ankles because I give up and I get mad. They could be really tall because I keep going and it's okay. Who knows? At this point, it's anybody's guess. Because I don't know. When I decide I'm done knitting this off, it's variable at best, guys. <laughs> if I can make it past the ankle length, I'm pretty committed to making at least a regular sized sock. But there's no guarantee I'll make it past the ankles. Your microphone is making 
noise. I think it's rubbing against something. Oh, it's probably rubbing against something. Hopefully it's stopped. Yes. I don't know, probably something plastic. Anyway. I lied. I have six projects. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> well, keep going then. Don't let me stop you. Because I realized I'm using my coaster. Oh, okay. when did that come into existence? I made a little coaster one day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got a pattern for that? Some yarn, it's, a project it's, page. It's called the autumn uh, project page. Who are you talking I, to? I know. I just I'm eternally hopeful. Sure. When you start making your project page is up to date, Diana. How does that sound? I at least have them. They might not have up to date photos, but I have them. <laughs> they exist. Uh, this is the autumn leaf uh, coaster. So I made I made one. I've been putting all this work into my coffee table cedar chest. I feel like I need to start becoming a coaster user. Probably. Mm -hmm. That is something coaster worthy. So I made a coaster. I'm not sure if I like it or not, but I made it. It's scrap yarn in the green color way, which is forest from Impeccables, from Loops and Threads, the Michael's house brand. Because I have four Walmart bags full of Loops and Threads Impeccable yarn right now. <laughs> Because I'm crafting a lot of Halloween stuff. All right, that's one, that's two, let's do three. Let's do the awkward one, because I'm really worried. I'm gonna do something worried about it. So if you guys watch Vlogtober, then you'll have seen this, or you'll have seen progress photos of this, because I'm, I'm having fun with the uploads. Um, this is inside out at the moment, but I'm making a top hat fascinator. That is so much fun. So here's the inside of it. And it's inside because at the moment we're sewing our little veil piece on. So if I do this carefully, so I don't poke myself with any bloody pins or screw up my, the stuff that's been done. Guys, mommy saved her butts this week because mommy's doing the sewing for me because I can't, I can't focus on it. Mm. It's, it's causing me a great deal of grief. So mom to the rescue but you can only do it for a little bit every day when the sun's at its brightest. <laughs> We're uh, interesting. So I've got it tucked up in here so the pins are safe. So here's the outside of the hat. It's got flowers and everything. That's it's so got cute. flowers and a little band on it. I talk about it more in detail and I made it a bit smaller than the pattern calls for. I have to shrink to get in frame. <laughs> That looks amazing. It's going to sit as a hat fascinator on the side because the regular sized would fit a regular sized head, which won't fit my head. It's like a small medium hat fit. So I just kind of shrunk it just a touch so that I could just pin it to my head. That looks so great. As an oversized fascinator. So uh, it's shown up in two vlogs already and it's going to be in a third one once we get the veil and stuff done. But I don't want to mess with it too much because my mom will kill me she's been so kind to help me out with this I pop those pins she's gonna try to hunt me down she knows where i live <laughs> god <coughs> hi psa <coughs> do not inhale whiskey <laughs> <coughs> yeah we're all good it's not we're good, good. We're good. <coughs> you better I'm just gonna Put that farther away from me. Put the <laughs> closer. All right. Mm -hmm. We're good. It's all good. So that's three. Do you need me to keep going? Because I accidentally made my five a six. <laughs> I, I think I can sneak in with one. <laughs> Listen, I forgot the coaster was under the cup until I picked the cup up to drink the coffee. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm going to scoot back a little bit so I can get this sweater project bag in frame. This is the uh, sweater project bag that you made me ages ago to oh uh, hold the kit that I bought at around the same time that I proceeded to not work on. The kit has lived in this bag the entire time. I believe the progression was Diana says, I think I'd like to make a sweater. Me. Oh, that sounds like fun. She'll need a project bag. Makes project bag. A year later, project goes in project bag. Year after that, project gets knit out of project bag. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, I'm on the ball. <sighs> Uh, it's a really handy sweater bag because we're not using it. That just collapses up real nice. <gasps> is that a sleeve I'm looking at? It is a sleeve. I got a lot. I had a lot of meetings this last week. Um, 
<clears throat> it is not quite finished because the fade on the cuff is just very slightly more involved than I realized. And I can't work on it very quickly in meetings because I have to pay attention to the meeting, you know, the thing that they're paying me for. Yes. But, <clears throat> oh gosh. <laughs> Future edit and Jocelyn, cut. Okay, sleeve. Yes. So this is the Comfort Fade Cardi by see, I was that's inside out. Bust out a second sleeve and just have two sleeves done. I know. I wanted to do that, oh. but it was not happening. I still have not quite one sleeve. Okay. So once again, for the people in the back, the Comfort Fade Cardi by Andrew Mowry out of some yarn from Sew Into Knitting. I suppose I could like put this thing on or something, couldn't I? I have no idea. I bet I can. I figured out what's making noise is every once in a while my needles hit the my cord uh, from my earphones. Yeah, that's what's making the noise. Do it. Weird thing when I was knitting the sleeve is it's like do this many like do the increases like this every so often this many rows and uh, you should have x number of decreases by the time you're done. Yeah, I hit the sleeve length with one decrease still to go. So I just went, meh, it's fine. Yeah. Because like this sleeve is plenty long. The sleeve is plenty long and I'm not even done the cuff yet. Oh yeah, you're good. So <laughs> I think my row gauge must be really off or something. It must be, but that's okay. It works out to your benefit for the sleeves. Yeah, like I'm I'm not upset. I actually, oh hey, I didn't notice this before. I haven't put the sleeve on since the last time we recorded. But it works out really nicely that my the color with the most white ends up around my elbow. So it's kind of like a faded elbow patch. And I actually quite like that effect. Oh, I think that turned out really good. Ah, oh, I like this, is it. Turning out, this is turning I like out really it. nicely. Oh, I need to make me one of those. I need to find a kit. <laughs> you know what I should do? <laughs> I should talk to the ladies that's so into knitting and go, can you make me a kit that's not like Diana's, but kind of like Diana's? <laughs> the same, but different. The same, but different see what they can do just be like hey i'd like to commission you guys for a comfort fake cardi kit here's the size i need and you girls know me i don't know surprise me gosh just always have to admire this on camera it's really good it is such a i never get to see it like this because i'm always looking at it so close <sighs> oh looks so good okay <clears throat> i'm gonna put that down now before i like pull the needles out and make myself sad because mm -hmm. i've still got several more rows of cuff to do and I just I really don't want to have to redo the sleeve I'm like holy batter. I'm still a little bit afraid that I'm going to eventually want to redo the sleeve anyway because I'm not super happy with how I carried the yarn Ooh. up for the various fades and I'm like do I care enough to fix it and Maybe. so far no because it's all on like it's on the inside that nobody but me is going to see so the only person that's going to care is me yeah on the other side i will care so it's like but i already have a sleeve a whole sleeve and it's it's a dilemma i feel, I feel like once you've washed it and blocked it and it's done i yeah gonna, i don't think i'll care. actually care no you're not going to care i so think it's going to be it's like all of the other mistakes in quotation well they are mistakes but all, all of the other problems um in the other things that i've made and like after a couple months i can't even see them anymore there are artisanal details yeah i uh yeah i eventually won't see them so <laughs> it's fine it works uh for a change of pace in acrylic yarn i was working on the blanket of doom this week so i had to make a bag full of squares these are being made out of burnett premium Ooh, ah, uh, to keep my so square... exotic. I know. I'm using my five millimeter crochet hook. <laughs> it's in the project bag. My project bag is a super sexy Ziploc bag with smaller Ziploc bags. I am Ooh. the height of fashion, people. I have to keep this navy blue and this dark gray separate because unless I'm in sunlight or like right now when we're recording, I can't tell the damn difference. Yeah, neither can I. So those are different colors. <laughs> yup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but they're the darker colors. So I knew I was going to have trouble. So I just crocheted enough to sew the next section. So that way I could be sewing, right? So I could get a section done this week, hopefully, because the section after that is out of the stuff that I've already crocheted a ton of squares for. So we're good. 
So today I started by putting on the light blue squares. Ooh. So this is how it'll look like when it's folded in half. So this is the blanket of doom. So we just got one more row sewn on today, but I've been weaving in ends and stuff. So, so I'm going to have one color repeat out, which will be that medium blue, then the navy, then the gray again. And then we're back to the original trilogy of colors. And I already have enough of those to go out again immediately. So once I have this, the gray squares, but the big one, once I have <laughs> this section of three done and another section of three done, it'll be as wide as it's gonna be. It'll be the widest of the blanket. And then I can work on the corner pieces for the blanket, the wedge corner pieces. So I am making some progress. So it's lots of, and it's hand sewn guys. So like this alone to get all the way around was, and we have an ends was about three hours worth of work today. Oof, but it's looking time, so by time good. I, by the time I wove in the ends and I got it all sewn in. So, <laughs> hence my mom's helping me with the sewing on my Halloween hat. <laughs> I'm using my eyes elsewhere, guys. <laughs> so, I am making excellent progress on this. So, I am, I'm very happy with that. I need to make a butt ton more. I'm hoping for next week to have too much blanket to show. If that makes sense. I'd like to be working on my corner my corner sections to finish off the blanket so I can put a border on it. So that's been one of the big projects this week, <laughs> which just leaves me with my eight bit. I will jump in with my one other thing that is not the eight bit. My shame, my walk of shame this week is that I did no progress since last week. <laughs> there is no more progress. This is the next color. It's really pretty. It is. Even with the shiny bag. All right. Um, oh, I lied. Two more things. Oh my gosh. Would you stop pulling things out of the woodwork? No. Stop well, reaching I... into the camera and pulling out things. <laughs> no. I have skills, damn it. This is it. That's all I got. On my six millimeter hook, I did a few more rows on my Esmeralda throw. So last time I was down here, I've now done a white and a black in this little stitch detailing it here. That's cute. I know. This needs some serious work too, because it's 108 rows and I'm 20 rows in. Oh goodness. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's gonna be an ongoing project uh -huh. for a while. I need to work on this. I need to I was telling my mom I need to sit down and do some serious Disney Plus watching and get some blanket mm -hmm. work done. And she said, mm -hmm. okay. So that's gotta that's gotta happen. So Okay, that's it. I was because I was, I was looking at the eight bit, which is just off screen, and then I realized it was a different color, and I went, "My eight bit doesn't have color. What's on there?" And then my brain went, "Oh, you worked on your Esmeralda throw today or last week, right? You're right, brain. I did." What's your other? Okay, my other thing. I'm going to show off this bag that has my hair all over it. That's attractive. Wait, <laughs> professional <laughs> podcaster here. <clears throat> Why well, have a cat? When you could have Diana hair. <laughs> oh, I shed so much less than the cat, but you would never know because every hair is like four feet long. I'm not sure. Though in the spring, my cat definitely beats you. She sheds like a crazy person. Anyway, <clears throat> I have very much tangled somehow by stuffing it into this bag. My darker colored fingerless gloves that I'm working on. This is one of two. And if I hold this up close enough. Oh, there we go. Now we got some pattern coming in. It's like yeah. black, 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 black. Hey, yeah. look, there's some gray in that black. If I, uh, <laughs> if I rotate it just so. This is my other problem with working on these is because the stitches are small and the yarn is dark. And I'm usually trying to work on it while watching Critical Role, which I do in this room, which is kind of dark. I'm having a little bit of trouble. What are you just, what are you doing to yourself? Yeah. Chris comes so. in one day to see you working and you got your ring light shining on your, on your yarn while you're watching. <laughs> I, you, legit, that's exactly what happened this week. And he just kind of, cause it was sitting, it was sitting on the desk in front of me, pointed down into my lap. It's like, what? what? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you need a ring light down there? <laughs> you, <Anyway>. don't <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. You don't know. Okay, let's see if I can. The striping uh, quality of the yarn is very apparent in this lighting. Yes. But I swear in natural light, the uh, contours for which this pattern is made 
are far more apparent. Sort of an hourglassy wavy shape. Okay. And it goes like out and then back in. I'm into the second repeat and then there's another half one and then I do the thumb hole and then I finish off for the fingers, which is basically just the same ribbing that's at the bottom. Oh yeah, okay, okay. That works. So they're going to be, I think, about about that long. She says pointing about halfway down her forearm. I was like, you know, that's great for the people who listen to us. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So Didn't even my my, my guesstimation is that it's it's going to sit kind of like that. Well, that's not too bad. That's like three quarters of the way down your forearm. Yeah. So it's they're fairly long. Mm-hmm. Looks good. So I've still got another like full pattern, which will take me to about there ish, and then another half. So yeah, it's it's about here. So these it's, will be like reasonably long. My my most beloved winter fingerless mittens to put on underneath my mittens are the nightmare before christmas ones i have and that's because it goes to the elbow yeah i'm pretty sure you put those on and then you can put sweaters on and they don't go anywhere they don't roll yes yeah these will very much stay put yeah. oh, yes and for uh, folks that are listening and not watching this yarn is uh, sort of a teal and burgundy kind of a stripe i didn't realize it was striping honestly when the yarn was uh, in a skein and then when it was caked up and uh, it uh, the stripiness of it didn't really emerge until I started knitting. So, wow. You know, not upset. So I'm seeing black and gray. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear it's burgundy and teal. I believe you. I really do believe you. I know it's me. I know that's not other people. I know it's me. <laughs> Holy Hannah. Okay. 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 Ah, you can all see my terrible nail polish now too. <laughs> we'll just put that away. Um <clears throat> All right, that's that's the extent of my progress this week. I uh, yeah didn't didn't do a lot of crafting this week. It's not a crafty week. Not a crafty week. Well, I also made a Halloween wreath, a Halloween lantern display, and I did something else too. I've already forgotten. <laughs> I worked on my coffee table, cedar chat. Like it's 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 been just two months of solid crafting. It's going crazy. I'm going crazy. It's crazy up in here. Come on. I don't want you to do anything dumb. So don't be difficult. Oh, that's why you're difficult. Okay, fine. I can deal with that. I worked on my 8-bit. So you are definitely farther along than me now. Well, since you didn't do any work on it this week at all, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> it is no longer a race. I have lost. Well, you didn't work on it at all. What did you think was going to happen? I was hoping that if I put all my effort into one of these other things, I'd have like at least a finished sleeve to show uh, okay. or like a finished glove. And I, I didn't have either of those things. So I just look extra pathetic. No, it's just because it wasn't a crafty week for you. No. Nah. All right. So I can't back up because I am wired in this week for hearing, but someone attached her sleeves. What? Okay. That's, that looks like a whole sweater. We are almost there. I have not done the last color work chart. So I finished my ghosties. And I'm now currently working up the section because um, you do a bit of repeats, then you attach your sleeves, and then you do some more repeats. And I'm now at the section where you do the repeats after you've joined the sleeves. It's still a fairly delicate operation going on in here. So I'm not turning it inside out, guys. <laughs> so this is my 8-bit sweater that I am making out of some Briggs and Little yarn. This is in their sport weight. And I am doing mine in white and in gray. And what I have done, because I really hate picking up stitches, like, it's even worse when you're picking up stitches in color work and you can't see one of the colors appears black to you, even though you know it's gray. So I put the stitches that we put on hold on the underside of the sleeve. Literally, I left them on needles and shoved the needles down the sleeve. Like, so once I've done the section to get up a bit and that this is not quite so delicate because I've got more than like two rounds of knitting holding my sleeves together, uh, I'm going to graft my underarms closed because I want that to be done. I want to sit down, only have to pick up stitches one more time and be finished. Graft it closed and I'm, and I'm good, right? So that's, that'll be the next step. Then I'm going to do the last chart, which is a Nintendo controller. I think it's a game controller. And then I'm into the super scary decreases. 
I struggled to do the increases. The other thing I got to do that was super fun is that uh, the pattern section for the clue to attach the sol shoulders, don't know why I want to call them shoulders, but I do, assumes that the pattern you are working in is the pullover. <laughs> so I had to lay the sweater out, read the instructions twice, lay it out and figure out where the sleeves are supposed to fit because I have a center front and I have a center back to turn it into a cardigan. So I needed to have <laughs> my sleeves on either side of my front panels because I have front panels, not a front side and a back side. So I had to uh, modify my start stops for a sleeve pickup mm -hmm. <laughs> to make that work. My start of round is the same. It just it just changed where I picked up my sleeves. So, because they have you put so many on hold and then they have you pick up for your first sleeve. Well, when you're knitting in the round, it's fine. If you don't have a front or back, wherever you stick your sleeves, there indicates a front and a back. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have that option because I'd already indicated where my front and back was. So I had to make them align. And I did. There was a lot of time this better sweater sat on the floor in the living room and I sat there staring at it. <laughs> Make sure it was correct. <laughs> Here's hoping I did right. We'll find well, out. If you blink, it might it might suddenly be wrong. Uh, it's just this is a, it's, a, it's a lot of chart B, which I really really love, and I get through quite quickly. So I'm going to try to see if I can uh, not finish because <coughs> Clue Twelve just came out one Sunday yesterday. So this is the last week. So like I'm not finishing this week because I still I need to finish a whole chart of 15 rows then do my decreases then do the collar then I need to steak and do side panel ribbing like I need to do ribbing on either side of the front so like I'm still like two or three weeks away from finishing the sweater easily but I am making good progress so I'm very happy and it definitely looks like a sweater on my needles now so I got I got a bunch of sweater going on bunch of sweater the bright side is when you have to do the math for your yoke increases for your for your underarms to your collar i'm actually normal sized through here <laughs> I, don't need to, I don't need to add anything i can just do my size this section always fits fine it's everything else is weird and wonky <laughs> so i've still got the two balls I'm currently working on are still quite large, so I don't even know if I'm going to need my last two balls. Hmm. I might in the white because I'm going to do the ribbing, and I've got extra ribbing on the on the plants, but I might not for the gray. So it happens again. I would always rather have extra yarn than not enough. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that's I think that's enough crafting for one week. Yes, that's quite a lot of crafting. Still more crafts to go this week. Shall we segue into wool gathering and sure. uh, your extra activities crafting wise? <laughs> For the month of October, I have been doing a daily crafty check-in. Uh, it is on the Amber Dragon Designs uh, YouTube channel, uh, mostly so that we don't bog down the feed here because I know not everyone's into the sort of daily videos or the vlog style videos. So I'm doing them there. Uh, the background's the same. You just see me every day. Though right now, because I'm having such problems with uploads, you see two or three days of me in a row. <laughs> and then two or three days pass when I haven't, I haven't uploaded because I've been having problems. So the recording part's going great. The crafting part's going fine. The computer gremlins and me are having an issue this week, this past couple of weeks, so that's fine. So I'm going to do that till the end of the month. And then I'm taking a break because it's a lot of crafting. It's a lot of videos. It's a lot of editing. <laughs> it has been a delightful challenge. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Diana's been helping me by doing thumbnails. <laughs> I feel like that's barely doing anything. Oh, it helps. It helps us so much. It's not even funny. <laughs> so I've, I've got the thumbnails down to a science at this point. So it's like, eh. I would struggle. I would struggle and argue with them a lot. So we're doing that. So I've got what, two weeks left? A little under two weeks left? I think past that's... the 15th. Yep. So 10 days, 11 days. Yeah. 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 So yeah, a little under two weeks left. So I've almost made a whole month. That's impressive. It's a lot of crafting and vlogging and editing. Oh, the editing. Oh, the editing. 
it's intense. My life exists of daytime crafting, evening video and editing. That's it. That's all I do right now. That is my whole life. I mean, that doesn't sound terrible. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the work. So I don't mind. But uh, it's not, uh, not untime consuming. And this week I get to start try cross stitch. Good luck. Don't stab yourself. Oh, I'm going to stab myself. It's fine. Whatever. The needles aren't that sharp. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. Don't stab yourself too hard. There you go. That's more like it. I've already given blood to the blood gods for these <laughs> projects. It's fine. I managed to cut my finger and then singe my other hand the other day. I was working with a hot glue gun. <laughs> you know, this crafting thing isn't supposed to be a dangerous hobby. <laughs> For me, life is a dangerous hobby, so it's just sort of par for the course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been here for two months. I have visited my mother for months at a time. It is not like the walls in her in her house move. They don't. The countertops stay where they are. Stuff goes back where it's supposed to be. You can still at least hear me once a day go, oh, doorway. <laughs> it's fair. I do that, too. Uh, it's just a part of life. It's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, it's my life. But yeah, that's what I'm doing for the month of October. I've been having fun. I may honestly think about doing a Christmas one. Because it's, be it's, 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 I think it'd be quite a bit of fun to just see how kind of weird crafty I could get for Christmas. I mean, I've been pulling from everywhere. I've been pulling from Pinterest, from... Uh, I've been trying to avoid Ravelry. So like, well, I'm I'm kind of okay moving around on the Ravelry, Rav Ravelry website. Nope. <laughs> on the website of Ravelry. There we go. <laughs> I know they still have massive issues and they're getting rid of classic Ravelry. Not till March, I think. Yeah, they're still getting rid of it and they still haven't fixed the accessibility problems. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not... I just... I'm super, super not comfortable with the way that they're going. So if it's linkable, I'm al almost always linking to the designer's website or to the Etsy. So like I found a link for Annie's Spooktacular Crochet we could just buy an e-copy of the magazine and I link that. So the same with like the autumn leaves. I know I do links and show notes in my blogs. Who am I? <laughs> Not for any of the social media. I just write it out. I expect people to be able to go find it on their own. <laughs> I have faith in them. I have faith. But uh, the other ones I've been linking everywhere but Ravelry because I'm just, they're still having so many problems. I'm just not sure. Which is weird because I'd like to run like an end of the year cast on for yourself, like Christmas, like Boxing Day sort of thing. So like from Boxing Day to New Year's Day, like a, a start a thing for you. Mm -hmm. But I don't know where we could host it hmm. because I don't want to host on Ravelry with all the issues that they've got going on. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, who knows maybe it'll just be you and me on a live youtube that day then we'll just cast on things and chat with whoever shows up that would also be fun i think that would I'd probably be acceptable to everybody we'll all be stuck inside that day anyway yep because who really wants to put on pants after christmas nobody 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 wants to put on pants after christmas <gasps> that's crazy talk so that was it. There's my there's my wool gathering. Would you like to um, horribly mash the Patreon uh, plug-in here? Yeah, I'll uh, write something out eventually one day, maybe. One day, maybe? One day, maybe. If you would like to... Su <laughs> I've screwed it up already. <laughs> Support in a financial capacity. <laughs> the absurdity that is playing out in front of your eyes and or ears at this moment. You can do so by becoming a Patreon, patron at patreon.com oh slash some something. stuff that's in the description slash box. some stuff. It's in the description box in the show notes. Slash some it. <laughs> if you are listening to us, it's in the show notes. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description box below. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm trying really hard, Okay. I did actual work today, and now there's scotch. I choked on this and tried to kill me, and it's just, it's been a day. 
<laughs> Patreon is a great online creator community that allows people, if they're financially able to, to help support their favorite content creators, us, other people, web comic designers. You get the idea. If you are not able to financially support us, okay, super duper understand. Liking, sharing, and subscribing is also a massive help for us. If you want to chat with us, you don't need to be a Patreon member. Won't lie. Patreons on Discord have a bit of a more direct link to us, but I do answer YouTube comments eventually, so you can leave a comment and I will reply. <laughs> Diana just lurks on the internet, so she's not less stalkery in Discord. I, <laughs> I, I am the IT professional lurking in the background, just yep. making sure nothing breaks. Yep, yep, yep. And we're both comfortable with our jobs. I am the face of the group. I don't know how that happened. But here we <laughs> I'm, are. I'm the Batman of the internet, so I just lurk in the dark. You uh, only work in dark and black and really dark gray? Yeah. 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 For a Lego movie reference. <laughs> it's a surprisingly so, good movie. It was a surprisingly good movie. So that's that's what goes on. If you're able to, we do uh, weekly blogs and we have a Discord chat and we do monthly email chat ins. In the case of the people who will be watching this video this week, it's going to happen this coming Saturday on the 24th. Yes. All those lovely words that apparently I cannot manage ever on a weekly basis. How about this? If we ever actually truly become professional podcasters and we have ad spots, I'll do them. <laughs> so I wasn't laughing at you doing the ad spots. I was laughing at us being professional. It's never going to happen. <laughs> no, you'd be great at reading ad spots. Us? Professional? <laughs> no. Insert snorting noises here. No, I don't. I don't think that's ever going to happen. <laughs> we can't even get together long enough to keep a straight face to pick a prize winner for the Patreon ladies who just did the middle on we finished off, and that was a month ago. We're doing great, guys. <laughs> Two thumbs up, five star podcasters right here. On the right side, all the Discord ladies know what we do all day long, so <laughs> they know us well enough not to be shocked. I appreciate your patience. Oh, man. <sighs> it is the way it is. All right. Uh, which just leaves books, I guess. Yeah. I uh, also somehow managed to not read a single freaking book this week. I've been watching a lot of Critical Role, okay? Hey, listen. It's a good story. It is. It's like, it's, it's like one of those dramatized readings of something, of a yeah. book. Yeah. So it's you know what? I'm sticking to it. It's like a radio play there it is like a radio play it's very good i super enjoy it i'm really glad you're still enjoying it um keep plugging away i need you to catch up i'm trying so hard big reveals i try not to spoil things for you i like giving you weird one-liners that make no sense so when you run across them you're like oh yeah i accidentally stole a boat and accidentally became pirates accidentally i understand stole now a boat and accidentally became pirates yeah makes total sense <laughs> I'm waiting for you to get to the part where Caduceus goes, it's bad, we're running. <laughs> that could honestly happen at any moment. He's just... Uh-huh. <laughs> very chill. He is the dad of the group. I love it. All right. I did do some reading this week. Um, I finished Tall, Dark, and Lonely by author's name I've already forgotten. R.L. Matthewson. Thank you. Uh, I enjoyed it as a romance. The romance was good. The characters were good. The world was interesting. I may continue and be the next in the series. A couple of a problem with some of the word choices for some of the main male character, but other other than that, slightly playing better the story. It was a very good romance. I quite enjoyed it. Male, female, nothing super fancy. Vampires are real. You get the idea. It's a paranormal romance. That's what I like. So they have that. Believable characters. Oh, really just too much. But oh well, that's it then. I guess we're done. We're wrapped up for the day. Well, now that we've managed to put the husband to bed. Yeah. Apparently, we're so boring. He just fell asleep. Cool, cool. I guess. I'm thinking I need a bowl of bananas and vanilla ice cream. That sounds good. But I'm thinking that's going to be my dessert. So I'll say until next week, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Diana. And no matter where your week takes you, don't forget don't to forget knit. To knit.